Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your Siri if it's not working on your iPhone or iPad or any of your Apple devices. So in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the top reasons why it's not working and how you can fix them. So let's get started. So when it comes to Siri, first thing you want to make sure that it's enabled and turned on. It seems quite simple, but sometimes accidentally it gets turned off or if you did a recent software update, it might not be on or it might have been turned off by uh, some weird setting. So what you want to do is go into settings and then you're going to go to where it says Siri and search. You're going to click on that and make sure that now the way you want to activate Siri, if you're going to be asking it to listen for, hey Siri, you want to turn that on and then enable Siri and then it will ask you to do a couple of the saying here. So say, hey Siri, hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. So after you have done that, sometimes it helps if you haven't done it to turn it off and turn it back on. The reason why you do that is that over time it might not recognize your voice. So when you say, hey Siri, if your voice has changed, again, it could happen. The Siri doesn't recognize it when it's initially set up. The other thing you want to do if you want Siri, when you press the side button is you can turn that on. Again, those two options are optional. You don't have to use the side button, but if you use the side button, if I hold it, as you can see Siri gets activated. So make sure those are on. And then the third option here, it's when it's, if your phone is locked and you still want to use Siri, you want to make sure that is turned on. Again, these are default option, but you need to have at least or one or the other here on or both of them on for Siri to work at all. So after you have done that, the next thing you want to check again, very common here, you want to make sure that you're either connected to good Wi-Fi or if you have cellular data, make sure that if you turn off uh, Wi-Fi, the cellular data is working because most of the time when you make requests to Siri, it needs to make sure that it can reach out to the internet to grab the information. Now the next thing you want to check out is if you're going to be commanding things like weather or checking for your local area region, it needs to know your location. So in the settings here, you want to go to privacy and security and make sure here in the location services, your location services turned on. But more importantly, you want to make sure that for Siri and dictation, it's pretty much using it while using the app is turned on. And this one is optional, but precise location helps to give you better answer when you ask Siri. If it's never, you will not get answers to a lot of questions if you ask like, what's the weather? Or, you know, where's the closest um, top restaurant near me? Or something simple like that. It won't be able to give you that. So make sure this is on as well. Now moving on to the next thing you want to do, if you check that it's on and you have good cellular data connection, is we're going to try to go ahead and do a force restart. So to force restart, your phone it's pretty simple here so you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black you see the apple logo and then we'll let go of that button so volume up volume down and then i hold that side button on the right hand side as you can see here i'm just holding that button pressing it down i'm not going to slide to power off i'm just going to wait till the screen goes completely black and then once it does that i'm going to keep on holding it still and then i will let go once i see the apple logo just like that and all it's doing is reloading the phones code again give it a nice fresh restart if it's having any sort of software bugs or glitches that's causing the software not to function correctly, this will resolve that issue. It will not delete any of your personal data like videos, photos, apps, anything at all. Just basically reloading the code again. So once you have done that, go ahead and get back into your phone and hopefully now you can say, hey Siri, and it works or you can press the button and Siri is working for you. Now if it's still not working, the next thing you want to do is go into your settings here Again, this time in the settings here, we're going to go to general after we go to settings and software update and see if there is a software update out there. Sometimes what happens is a previous software update might have happened and could have broke Siri. So make sure your software is up to date. If there's an update out here, it will say it here and then all you'll do is download and install. And this will take generally half an hour to 45 minutes depending on how big the upload is and how good your Wi-Fi or your cellular data connection is. So be patient and you also need to make sure your charge is over 50% or more to install the update. And once you have done that, if it's still not working, the very last thing you can pretty much do is go to uh, settings again, general, and this time all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You want to click on that and then you'll see the first option for reset. And the reset that we want to do is 
reset all setting in the first option. But before you do that, you have to understand this will not delete any personal data like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. But it will reset like things like Wi-Fi settings if you have set up VPN settings, your keyboard dictionary if you added stuff to your keyboard dictionary, home screen layout if you did a certain layout of your screen, and then any settings around location and privacy settings. So before you do that, make sure you understand what you're doing. But it is something that's necessity when it comes to fixing and troubleshooting your Siri not working. And that's about it, guys, when it comes to uh, troubleshooting Siri. Hopefully by now Siri is working for you. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button. If you found a better way to fix that issue, leave a comment section in the comment as well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.